In 2015, Nitish Kumar, the Chief Minister of Bihar, announced that there will be a complete ban of liquor in the state of Bihar from April 2016, making Bihar the fourth state to ban alcohol after Gujarat, Mizoram, and Nagaland. However, a recent event has brought him back to the news again. Banning alcohol in the state of Bihar was massively supported by its women due to the rising alcohol addiction and the adverse effect it had on their daily lives. Even though there were reports of increased substance abuse and bootlegging less than a year after the ban was imposed, the social condition overall seemed to be better. As for the legal aspect of this law, under Article 47 of the Indian Constitution, one of the directive principle calls for the ban of intoxicating substances and drugs that are injurious to health. It was on the basis of these principles that the Bihar government banned alcohol. Now, this is despite the criticism that it received and the Patna High Court striking the law down, calling it illegal. The CM's call for support towards his government's effort to environment conservation and eradication of social evils saw overwhelming support. This saw 5 crore people join in, joining hands, forming a human chain and standing in solidarity, some even from different parties. But on the other hand, many people who earn their livelihood by selling alcohol were forced to look for an alternate low-paying job. Many businesses also faced losses since half of their income depended on alcohol. Some claims even stated that this law affected tourism in Bihar. However, this was countered by the chief minister, saying that alcohol was never a factor for tourism. As as far as tourism is concerned, according to statistics, the number of tourists visiting the state shot up by 21% year by year, which is quite an impressive record. Although the state lost 13% of its revenue due to banning alcohol, it saw a lot of other businesses flourishing. So now on the wake of its apparent success, Mr. Nitish Kumar has asked for a nationwide ban of alcohol at a recent convention, stating that it was Mahatma Gandhi's wish for a liquor-free India. Now, there have been mixed reactions to this statement, some expressing their support, and on the other hand, some have stood against this move, notably the opposition leader Tejashvi Yadav, who called this move a total failure. According to a study, Alcohol generated revenue worth 48.8 billion back in 2019 and is estimated to grow to 52.5 billion in 2020. An expert from the Gulati Institute of Finance and Taxation stated that in most states, liquor sales provided for 20% of their revenue. This growth is evident when we examine the yearly revenue generated by alcohol in the state of Tamil Nadu, which shot past 30,000 crores from 2018 to 2019. But along with alcohol sales comes a lot of other issues. According to a WHO report back in 2018, India has doubled its alcohol consumption in 11 years. And along with it came a lot of alcohol-linked diseases, mental issues, fatalities, and much more. Uh, do you know that Bihar is the fourth state to ban alcohol? I did not know that, but okay. Uh, yeah, the uh, I know about it. Nitish Kumar, actually the CM of uh, Bihar, was talking about that uh, alcohol should be banned all, all over India, okay. I guess. So what do you think about that? Uh, uh, I don't personally, uh, I'm not actually a fan of drinking or something, but I think uh, he as a sole person should not have the right to decide whether or whether not uh, some other person should drink or not. That is their personal choice. Okay, so I don't think that is uh, logically correct of him saying that alcohol should be banned all over India. No, it shouldn't be. Because people like to have fun and everyone's choice you can't stop someone from doing something see i call all over if india mein band ho jayega to public ko bahut takleef hai aur hamare desh ke andar bahut sare tourists bhi aate hain jinko ye lagta rehta hai jaise ki wine ho gaya beer ho gaya ye sab cheeze band ho jayegi to unko bhi dikkat ho jayega to hamare idhar india ka business aur tourism mein farak padega Banning alcohol in the state of Bihar did give rise to a lot of new issues. However, it's still a sign of steady progress. The one thing that stood out though is how empowered the women were during this move. Even though it may seem like a solution, total ban of alcohol in a metropolitan city like Mumbai bring out a lot of negative reactions. That's all we have for in today's show. I'm Neha Namvyar. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to stay up to date with more debates like these, check out our last two videos right here. And until next time, always verify news before you share it online. Goodbye.